I'm gonna show you how to make salmon rolls, a quick and easy way to do this, or you can also call it salmon salad. This is a, a go-to dinner. I buy salmon every week, and I would say this is one of our most popular family dinners. So here we go. Okay, so I have about a pound and a half of wild-caught salmon. You could start with probably about a pound if you were doing this. Um, this deep color that you see here is typical of a wild salmon. Um, so this is one that is feeding on what it would, what it naturally needs um, when it's out in the wild. So it has that deeper color. It's also a leaner fish because the farm salmon is fed a diet and doesn't have to work as hard or swim as hard for it. So the fresh, I mean the farm raised salmon is going to have that lighter color, different diet, different activities. So this is what your wild salmon looks like. And then I have here the oven. Uh, preheated to 450 degrees. So what I'm going to do is drizzle this with olive oil, put some uh, pink Himalayan, Himalayan sea salt and pepper on it, and then I'm going to cook it in the oven for about 14 to 16 minutes. While the salmon continues to cook, I went ahead and got the rest of the ingredients ready. So I'm going to use two tablespoons about of Dijon mustard, so I have one tablespoon ready to go. I'm going to use about a half a cup of mayonnaise. This is organic mayonnaise. I have about one and a half, maybe close to two stalks of organic celery cut up here or diced. Um, and then I have a lemon. I'm going to use some of the lemon juice in this. There's my mustard. It's almost out. Um, I like a little hot sauce added to mine. And then, of course, we have the pink salt, pepper, and then Old Bay. Old Bay is really important, especially here in Maryland, and we like a lot of this in there. So if you're not typically cooking with this, you can omit this, or the hot sauce, these are optional, but we find that they taste great in this. So I just cooked my salmon for exactly 15 minutes and it looks beautiful. So what I did was pull it out, and I'm just gonna immediately go ahead and just start, kind of, you'll see that it comes right off of the skin. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it and kind of take it right off the skin and then I'm gonna put it in the bowl and then I'm gonna add the other ingredients. Like I said, the half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm gonna put a good helping of some Old Bay in there. Again, do that as you would like. Um, I'm gonna add the celery, some lemon juice. I'm gonna mix that all up and then I don't put the hot sauce in it. I let anyone that wants that add it to theirs. And the finished product can be put on rolls. I don't eat um, really any bread, except for Ezekiel bread sometimes. Um, so I'll probably just have mine plain. I like to have like a salad on the side with mine. And I'll show you the finished product when I get okay, to it. Okay, so I've got the salmon in here. I've put the mayonnaise and the Dijon mustard, the celery. And I'm just kind of stirring and then breaking up the salmon a little bit more as I go along. Okay, now I'll put some lemon juice in. I'm doing it like this so I can catch any seeds so I didn't take any of my seeds out. Who are you making this for? What do you mean, baby? Who? For us. My son is helping me to film this because it was kind of hard to do all of that cooking with one hand holding the camera. Okay, so we're plating these up right here. Um, we're just using some leftover rolls that we have. These are just some potato rolls, so I've toasted them in the oven for just a second. And then we're just going to put that right on there and then like I said you can add some hot sauce and Old Bay to taste. I actually like to put these on um, like I said salad before early salad or I also like these high fiber low carb wraps that I find at Harris Teeter. I think I've also seen them at Walmart and other places uh, but these are great because they only have five net carbs so that's fantastic and that'll just about do it. Thank you cameraman. You're welcome.